is a continuous of our pharmaceutical calculation video today we will discuss about isotonic solution preparation and the calculation involved in the isotonic solution preparation So first we know uh, we must know about uh, what is isotonic solution what and there are some other uh, terminologies uh, which we must know the first terminology in this regard is uh, osmotic pressure now what is this uh, osmotic pressure to explain this osmotic pressure let us consider a beaker for example this is a beaker and we have water in this uh, beaker now let's suppose we place concentrated sodium chloride solution in a semi permeable membrane let us consider this is a semi permeable membrane this is a filter cloth or some other permeable membrane cloth and we have our 2% concentrated sodium chloride solution in it so what will happen or this water will move from the lower concentrated area to the higher concentration area why because this sodium chloride molecule cannot pass through this semi permeable membrane so water molecule will move from this lower concentrated area to the higher concentrated area until both the concentration of the both solution become equalized so why this water will move from low concentrated area to this higher concentrated area because this sodium chloride solution exert pressure on the water molecule this is sodium this is chloride ion this is water partial positive partial negative so this sodium molecule and this chloride molecule they exert pressure on this on this water molecule so this water molecule will move from this lower concentrated area to this higher concentrated area so the pressure exerted by the water molecule by sodium chloride molecule on this water molecule this pressure is called osmotic pressure osmotic pressure is a uh, colligative property osmotic pressure will be more if the if this concentrated solution water molecule will now come inside uh, if this is a electrolyte solution if uh, this is electrolyte solution why it will osmotic pressure will be more because uh, this is a single molecule it has two ions both these ion you can see that they can they attract water molecule they exert their specific pressure on water molecule to move this water molecule inside the this uh, semi permeable membrane so here osmotic pressure will be more on in case of electrolyte the osmotic pressure depend upon the concentration as well as the dissociation of the electrolyte molecule 
Now let us consider here another example is water molecule. Here again we have semi permeable membrane and we have sugar concentrated sugar solution sucrose solution for example this is 4% sucrose solution again this is more concentrated this sucrose molecule will exert a pressure on this pure water molecule in this pure water molecule this pure water molecule will move inside a yes, concentrated solution uh, but here osmotic pressure will depend upon the sucrose molecule because sucrose molecule as such exert as a single molecule it doesn't dissociate into positive and negative ion so here the osmotic pressure will be less as compared to the this which is electrolyte C12H22 O11 this will, observe, this will attract water molecule but here it is a single molecule it is a single entity here there are two entities so osmotic pressure in case of electrolyte will be more as compared to osmotic pressure as data from non electrolyte this was osmotic pressure then there is another uh, terminology of uh, which is called uh, osmotic isotonic solution iso means same tonic mean tone or pressure so what does we mean by isotonic solution or what is actually isotonic solution isotonic uh, solution is the solution having a same osmotic pressure is a specific uh, body fluid and same osmotic pressure is a specific body fluid has for example blood lacrimal secretion if we have a solution which is having the uh, same osmotic pressure which will exert the same osmotic, osmotic pressure as that exerted by blood or lacrimal secretion tears so we will say this uh, solution that it is isotonic with our body fluid norm generally 0.9% uh, sodium chloride solution is uh, considered uh, isotonic with a uh, body fluids then there is another terminology which is called uh, hypotonic solution hypo mean uh, less uh, tonic mean tone less tone that is a uh, solution having a less osmotic pressure is data from body fluids is called hypotonic solution uh, then there is another uh, solution which is called uh, hypertonic solution so hyper mean me more solution having more are high osmotic pressure as data from elect uh, body fluid scar
hypertonic solution. Now we will see what are the clinical consideration or what will be the effect of this uh, hypertonic or hypertonic solution on our body. For example, this is a our body compartment in which there are uh, some RBCs Now if we inject a hypertonic solution towards body fluid, what will this hypertonic solution do? This hypertonic solution uh, will, is this, there is also? isotonic solution inside the RBCs what this hypertonic solution will do this hypertonic solution will squeeze these fluids from the RBCs because as we can see that uh, solvent will move from lower concentration to higher concentration until both the concentration become equalized as a result these RBCs will shrink or crenulate they will shrink or crenulate this price called crenulation by hypertonic solution on the other hand and clinically the patient uh, if this is a, a solution of a sugar or dextrose the patient may become hyperglycemic hyperglycemia may occur osmotic diuresis may occur and loss of electrolytes may occur On the other hand, if we have these RBCs with us and this is our body compartment, for example, we have this solution in our body compartment and we let us consider we inject here a hypotonic solution what this hypotonic solution will do this hypotonic solution this will solvent of this hypotonic solution will move inside these RBCs as a result these RBCs may become swell, swollen and as more and more solvent moves inside these RBCs other this is of green color they eventually burst up because their cell membrane cannot withstand such a high pressure and these RBCs may, may burst up and hemolysis may occur a 
osmotic hemolysis may occur. This is the physical uh, or clinical consideration that hemolysis may occur. Osmotic hemolysis, rather, we can say that osmotic hemolysis or lysis or splitting or bursting of RBC may occur. This is a very, very dangerous situation. So, uh, if we have to uh, administer hypertonic or hypotonic solution we must administer it very very slowly now we will study the calculation methods for preparation of a isotonic solution what are the different methods for use for the preparation of isotonic solution uh, what are the calculation involved first uh, of all osmotic pressure is a colligative property freezing point uh, uh, depression is also colligative property other any other colligative property may be used colligative property is a property which depend upon the number of uh, some of the number of particle uh, as we see that uh, here osmotic pressure depend on the sum of the number of particle it is more in case of concentrated uh, electrolytes and less in case of non electrolytes because here the number of particle are more as compared to yeah so freezing point is also colligative property it also depend upon the number of particle other method may be used but freezing point uh, uh, depression uh, comparison uh, method is used mainly for uh, isotonic solution preparation so first method is a uh, based on a freezing point depression data second method is a uh, based on molecular concentration So based on freezing point uh, depression how we can calculate the amount of substance needed to prepare a iso -os osmotic or isotonic uh, solution. Freezing point as I uh, earlier discussed it, uh, it, it is a physical property of solution also called uh, a colligative property. Freezing point is a colligative property. Colligative property means it depends upon the total number of particles present in the solution which is uh, most often used in the calculation of aso tonic solution because it can be measured easily and accurately the temperature at which uh, blood plasma enters in lacrimal secretion lacrimal secretion blood plasma and lacrimal secretion freezes freeze atom minus asharia minus point of 5 to degree centigrade so any solution of any concentration which will also freeze at minus point 5 to degree centigrade minus point 5 to degree centigrade we will call it a isotonic solution and uh, Point nine, it is also known that point nine percent of sodium chloride solution also freezes at a minus point five two degrees centigrade. So this point nine percent sodium chloride solution will be isotonic. All other solution which also freeze at 
minus 0.5 to degree centigrade they will be isotonic with the blood plasma and lacrimal secretion uh, the freezing point of pure water as we see that uh, as we know that it is a pure water freezing point is a 0, 0.0 degree centigrade now if a freezing point of both the solution that is the unadjusted solution and freezing point of a adjusting solute solution it is solution used to adjust this first one solution tonicity if they both are no no then we can use a very simple formula for the percentage weight and volume of adjustic substances required percentage weight and volume of adjusting substance required is equal to 0.5 to minus a divided by b where is the freezing point of adjusted solution unadjusted solution b is the freezing point of adjusting solution it is unadjusted solution a and f uh, we use another solution which is let's suppose be adjusting solution adjusting solution mean adjusting this solution if we add this solution to this first solution to add its tonicity to add and to adjust its tonicity this B will be called the adjusting solution this is a very simple formula which can be used for the freezing point for the concentration or weight and volume uh, percentage of adjusting substance required this can be explained more huh? but before proceeding to the example one thing which is important huh? that the freezing point of this adjusting solution which is uh, known these adjusting solution are usually 1% in concentration if we consider here uh, this to be adjusting solution for example it is of sodium chloride so it will be 1% sodium chloride solution to adjust this uh, unadjusted uh, solution tonicity and freezing point uh, data which are usually known are actually that of a 1% solution now let us take an example find the concentration of a procaine hydrochloride required to make a solution isotonic with the 
this is a method first f a freezing point of adjusted solution adjusting solution and unadjusted solution they are known and we are using a solution to make this uh, unadjusted solution isotonic uh, we will use this method and there is also another method which will be discussed in a detail but first let us make it clear to find the concentration of procaine hydrochloride required to make a solution isotonic uh, with blood plasma freezing point of uh, one percent weight in volume solution of procaine hydrochloride is minus point one double two degree centigrade as we are not given the freezing point of unadjusted solution so we will consider it to be pure water so what will be the quantity of a freezing point of unadjusted solution it is 0.00 degrees centigrade what will be with us freezing point of huh? adjusting solution what is adjusting solution with us 1% huh? that is a uh, 1% huh? weight in volume solution of huh? procaine hydrochloride this freezing point is minus point one double two degrees centigrade <coughs> so what is the percentage weight in volume concentration of huh? procaine hydrochloride required this will be equal to 0 0.52 this formula minus a 0 0.00 divided by b what is the value of b 0 0.122 degree centigrade it will become equal to 4 is it is a percentage oh. so the value with us will be 4.2 six percent weight in volume oh, four point two six percent weight in volume of procaine hydrochloride will be required with us huh, to make this solution iso done four point two six percent weight in volume what is meant by this it uh, four point two six gram in a 100 ml will be required to us if our solution is 100 ml if it is more than 100 ml then we will use more quantity of this huh? procaine hydrochloride huh? solution now let us take another example to uh, find the concentration of sodium chloride required to render sodium chloride concentration required to make 1% uh, 
सोल्यूशन ऑफ अ कोकेन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड आइसोटॉनिक विद ब्लड प्लाज्मा फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ अ वन परसेंट वेट इन अ वॉल्यूम सोल्यूशन ऑफ अ कोकेन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड इस पॉइंट जीरो नाइन जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एंड दैट ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड इज़ माइनस पॉइंट फाइव सेवन सिक्स डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो वी हैव टू डिफाइन वी हैव टू फाइंड दी सोडियम क्लोराइड कंसेंट्रेशन रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक दिस वन परसेंट सोल्यूशन ऑफ कोकेन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड हम so what is the adjust an adjusted solution a cocaine hydrochloride what is its freezing point depression of 1% solution 0.090 degree centigrade and what is the adjusting solution it is sodium chloride and what is its freezing point depression its freezing point depression is 0.576 degree centigrade so by applying this formula percentage of weight in volume of sodium chloride required it will be equal to 0.52 minus a divided by b 0.5 Two minus a divided by b. So this will become equal to point seven four six percent weight and volume of a. This sodium chloride solution is a needed to make our solution isotonic. Thanks for watching.